So look, they've apologized many times. They've said they're working on it many times. They've changed slash improved the rules many times. Some things have gotten better, but you know, still there's a huge problem. Can Twitter do this? I think in a certain way, Jack's tweets are momentous in that the type of public apology he's issuing is much broader than what he said before. It goes beyond abuse and safety, he recognizes. It's about the overall public conversation. So hopefully what he said in these tweets will actually play out. A big criticism of the way that Twitter's handled abuse and harassment is that it's very whack-a-mole. They're not looking at it holistically. So here now they're saying that they need to find some sort of systemic approach to look at this across across every division, across consumer, ad sales, product, to really try to solve this problem from a high level standpoint. So a little more about what he said. We've witnessed abuse, harassment, troll armies, manipulation through bots and human coordination, misinformation campaigns, increasingly divisive echo chambers. We aren't proud of how people have taken advantage of our service or our inability to address it fast enough. He's talking about committing to a rigorous and independently vetted set of metrics to measure the health of public conversation on Twitter and to share those results with the public. Same time, Walt Mossberg, longtime tech columnist, writes back to him, first, enforce your current terms of service. Again and again, your staff refuses to delete the accounts of racists, anti-Semites, homophobes, inciters of violence, harassers, and other crystal clear serial rule breakers. And second, purge your system of bots. I applaud your recent steps against bulk tweets, but automated non-human actors are a massive problem, and it's not just the Russians. Bot designers' ability to game Twitter undermines all the principles you cite. Laying it on thick. There's a lot to unpack there. First of all, let's talk about this public outcry that they're asking for. They're asking for submissions from people to help them decide how they should determine the health of conversations on Twitter. Jack is admitting that they need to figure out how to make the conversations less toxic and more civil, but they don't quite know how. So it's open to anybody in the public. They're going to be providing them data access to Twitter as well as funding, significant funding.